So do you guys still think things are fine at Twitch? Because I did a video on Twitch a week or two ago saying that uh, I questioned the future of Twitch. And I got a lot of pushback from people. They're like, nah, you're, you're mental. Uh, Twitch is not going anywhere. Amazon loves Twitch. Everything's fantastic. It's all great. Well, we've got news today that uh, Amazon Games is closing its crown channel on Twitch and it's going to cut 180 jobs. Do you still think things are fine? I mean, really, do, honestly, do you think things are fine? Because they've been laying people off at Twitch. They were laying people off at Twitch before TwitchCon. Uh, they were laying people off at Twitch last year, I think. They were laying a bunch of people off. And there's been rumors that Amazon doesn't know how to effectively monetize Twitch. And now they're cutting back uh, on gaming in general. So we're going to talk about this. This is Neon. This is Clownfish Gaming. We talk about gaming news. We talk about uh, you know everything going on in the industry. Give our hot takes on it. And of course, we do gameplay videos. Go out and check out our gameplay videos. They're a lot of fun. I'm uh, going to be ramping that up again here pretty soon. But yeah, I saw this today. I'm like, oh, here we go again, guys. Uh, more layoffs at Amazon. And Amazon, like, they just don't care uh, about a lot of these things that they've purchased over the last couple of years. They don't, they don't care about comicsology. Uh, they, they really don't seem to care um, much for the Washington Post now, the newspaper that uh, Jeff Bezos owns. And they don't seem to care much about Twitch. They bought Twitch trying to jump on that esports bandwagon and it's not going as well as they thought and there's been a lot of controversy around twitch the revenue share changing and uh them being ridiculous with censorship and all that and and now we've got this they've had, you know they've had a lot of people jump ship too they've gone to kick they've taken these fat deals from kick i don't know how long that's gonna last but for now you know they definitely have have hurt twitch so this is uh, today coming from TechCrunch. Amazon Games is going to close its crown channel on Twitch and cut 180 jobs. Okay. Amazon announced another cluster of layoffs this week, along with plans to discontinue the crown channel, a flashy Amazon-run Twitch channel that featured television-like programming. Amazon will also shutter its game growth group, which helped creators in the gaming world market themselves. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Um, that tells me that they're not really interested in the future of gaming content creators. In a letter to staff, Amazon Games VP uh, Christoph Hartman characterized the decision as a move that would put more emphasis on offering free games to subscribers through Prime Gaming. Eh, we've listened to our customers and we know delivering free games every month is what they want the most. So we're refining our Prime benefit to increase our focus there. I don't hear anybody talking about that. Do you hear anybody talking about that? The layoffs are going to affect 180 roles across the groups. In April, Amazon eliminated 100 roles in its games division. After our initial restructuring in April, it became clear that we needed to focus our resources even more on the areas that are growing with the highest potential to drive the business forward. Translation, Jeff Bezos wants more money. He wants to see bigger margins, better margins. In February, Bloomberg reported that the crown channel on Twitch was inflating viewer numbers artificially using junk views. Oh, wait a second, I didn't know that. The crown channel attracted advertisers through expensive homepage promotion that at times made the channel appear as popular as Twitch's top tier streamers. Let's look at this. How did I miss this? Amazon's Twitch channel is exaggerating its popularity. Comparatively few people follow the crown channel or, or participate in its chat, suggesting they aren't engaging with the programming. That's interesting. Crown offers are offered a range of ad support, original programming, including Screen Invaders, a show about mobile gaming. Uh, Amazon says Crown is among Twitch's top 10. Amazon says, Am yeah, if it was among the top 10 entertainment channels, they would not be shutting it down. Amazon says Crown is among Twitch's top 10 entertainment channels luring tens of thousands of viewers, a feat typically equaled only by Twitch's top personalities and is attracting big name advertisers as chipmaker Intel, Progressive, etc. But a Bloomberg analysis of Crown audience metrics shows the channel isn't as popular as Amazon says it is. Oh my God, guys, it could be like, like Lord of the Rings all over again. That has potential implications for brands, which according to internal documents may have paid anywhere from $150,000 to $500,000 plus to promote themselves on the channel. All right. So this actually happens a lot 
in streaming and even even YouTube channels and Twitch channels, uh, you know, that they they might be inflating the numbers. And look, Amazon owns Twitch. They can inflate the numbers to their heart's content and it doesn't it probably doesn't cost them anything. Their credibility, but it doesn't really cost them anything to be like, oh yeah, our Amazon channel is one of the top channels. You gotta pay us because they're desperate to, to make money off of Twitch. Yeah, look at the numbers, guys. Look at this massive, massive audience. $500,000 progressive for an ad. A pitch deck for advertisers from January of 2022 said the Crown Channel reached 43 million viewers and had a highly engaged audience. But most of the viewers' Crown sites are what the advertising industry calls junk views, people who are actively watching the programming. Although Crown appears to draw on thousands of viewers each live stream, comparatively few people follow the channel or even participate in the chat, suggesting they aren't engaging with content. Hmm. Amazon sometimes pays Twitch tens of thousands of dollars to promote crown programs on the site's homepage where they end up in a digital carousel that viewers scroll through. So they're basically paying themselves. Disney kind of does this, I think, with Hulu and Disney Plus. I think they kind of pay themselves. Someone who lands on Twitch's front page and then navigates off to watch another streamer is not a highly engaged viewer. Um, so they're basically channel surfing. The front page is what I call hollow traffic. So yeah, people are bouncing. They're, they're coming in and they're bouncing. But this is interesting. So they got busted basically inflating their numbers and now they're shutting the thing down completely. Um, although Crown appears to draw thousands of viewers each live stream, few people follow the channel or participate, said Bloomberg. According to Amazon spokesperson Brittany Hefner, the restructuring will focus Amazon's gaming efforts on its primary business of creating games in-house. Why are they creating games in-house? Of creating games in-house like New World and a forthcoming Lord of the Rings game. Yeah, because I'm sure uh, if it's based on the Amazon series, it's going to do oh so well. It's going to give Gollum a run for its money. It'll be the best Lord of the Rings game since Gollum. The company provided the full memo to staff, which is embedded below. I've got some news to share with you, everybody, uh, about the future of our business. You're all fired. You're all gone. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. So yeah, they're, they're closing Crown Channel and uh, Game Growth. And uh, here's how you get a hold of, you get a hold of HR for severance pay and all that. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't think that this is gonna go well. Like, is this what they're gonna be all about from here on out, this Luna, the streaming games initiative thing? They're basically gonna treat games like, like Netflix, you know? Uh, they said on The Verge that in addition to owning Twitch, Amazon juggles a number of gaming initiatives. It runs New World and publishes Lost Ark. In the future, it has plans to publish Bandai Namco's MMO Blue Protocol and the next Tomb Raider game, the next Tomb Raider and the Lord of the Rings. Oh, good luck with that. Uh, <laughs> so Blue Protocol, didn't they censor a bunch of that? I thought they censored it. Of course it is, Amazon. So yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm just telling you, I don't think the, the future of Twitch is uh, all that secure if you haven't jumped off the platform yet into something else. I would highly recommend it because uh, it just, it's, it's just bad news after bad news after bad news. You don't hear about YouTube get rid of people uh, as often as, as uh, Amazon is, you know? when it comes to Twitch. So you don't hear about uh, Kick. Well, I don't know what Kick is doing. Now. Actually, does anybody talk about Kick? I haven't really thought about Kick in months, but uh, apparently they've got money from gambling or something. So whatever. I'm going to wrap this up, guys. Uh, there it is. Please subscribe for more gaming news, gameplay videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys. Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. 
I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. You can get away with one F bomb per PG 13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this F up. Yes. <laughs>